So I want to make a quick video of the soil sifting trommel that I made a couple years ago to sift soil that had a lot of rocks in it. So here we are. There's a couple of components to this thing. We have the rotating drum, which rotates at about maybe 10 to 15 RPM. And then we have this motor that is 3750 RPM. Um, the drum is made out of hardware cloth and bicycle rims, 26 inch. You can see the bicycle rim at the top. The shaft for the top bicycle rim, it was a piece of rebar. And then that second pulley was just another hub off one of these 26 inch bicycle rims. That belt right there is about to fall off. Um, it doesn't, the shaft doesn't sit in bearings. And so this was the first generation that I didn't like because it kept driving into that wood and kept rubbing the metal on those washers that is holding the shaft off. This worked pretty well and I was very quite happy with it, but decided that I wanted to do a second generation trial. I'll show you that here in a second. So here is the second generation of the soil sifting trowel that I made. A couple of things that I changed. I changed the motor. Um, I got the motor from the landfill for free. It was off some other machine. I don't know what, but it. Uh, I think it was dialed down a little bit. Maybe the 3750 RPM, I can't remember. But as you can see, I got the pillow box bearings to run those uh, those shafts that drive these pulleys, hold pulleys in place. And I got new belts and shafts. I got those from Surplus Center online. It still runs at about 8 or 10 or 15 RPM. The, the drum. The, um, this little setup here is to tighten the belt on the drum so I can get the traction that I need on the drum. A couple of other things, let's see what we have. That piece of plywood on the right there is for, as you are throwing the soil in, it throws soil up the side and it, and it um, keeps the soil from ejecting out the side and just hitting the side of the plywood and moving straight down. I installed the on-off switch there pretty simply and easily. You just plug the other end that you can't see down below into an extension cord with a whip. And let's see, the belts were brand new. They're 5 8 inch belts from Surplus Center Online. And other than that, I think that's about it, really. Let me know if you have any questions.